All right, let's just get another message, man. I think generally speaking, there's some people that need to ask people questions, okay? Whether this is family members asking other family members, friend groups asking people, like people are so afraid to ask if, if people did stuff. And, and, it, it's, I, and I, I think that this is the reason the world, one of the reasons got the way it is, is because things are just let go. And when you're dealing with someone who's very manipulative, they know that they will intentionally freak out so that you won't ask them questions anymore. This is, this is the sociopath, narcissistic sociopath, psychopath. They do that. They will break stuff and flip out and then it's like, I don't even want to bother. Um, because there's, there's really, there's things that need to be discussed with certain people. Now, the reason I started recording is because I seen Blood Here, Tragic, and Julia. And I asked my pendulum about Julia was involved in something tragic that happened at a, at a place. Okay, I heard that from the spirit. No, energy manipulation allowed during this entire message of this pendulum. Uh, it, it, does Julia have blood on her hands? Julia does? Okay. So I guess we're going to find out with who. Who's blood? What happened? All right. Those tickles are not going to work. I don't know. Somebody could laugh like that, like a cackle. Fentanyl addicts, please get help because this shit is, it's getting a little ridiculous. Okay. I try to see both sides. I really do. Uh, it's really hard for me to see both sides when some of these things are being done for, for that. It's really hard for me. So, um, oh, they put Julia back up there again. Okay. Well, they really want to talk about Julia. I guess let's see. There's something that happened somewhere, and this person is involved. Poisoned husband? For, well, well, let's just see. All right. Oh, thank you. Tried to ruin your reputation. So there's someone named Julia that tried to ruin another person's reputation. And I guess this person, <laughs> like in the blink of an eye, blink. This person could blink a lot. I, I, I've actually spoken face to face with people who blink a lot. So I don't know. That could be something like to be real clear about who this is. But uh, it feels like Julia tried to ruin someone else's reputation. And if she's got some... Some dirty laundry. Forged your signature. Okay. Take. She tried to take something. Forge someone's signature to take something. All right. Whose signature? Tell me about, is this the same person? Tried to ruin your reputation and forged your signature. What's this, please? Pisces. Now they're stuck. Yeah, judgment. Involved. Yeah, involved. Heavy Pisces here. Involved in forging a signature. Hold on a second. She signed a signature, forged a signature of, of a Pisces, I feel like. Um... And now they're stuck because I'm, I guess, this under book preacher. Oh, Julia, is she a preacher? Or she forged the signature of a preacher. When you need to be sure, somebody may not be sure. Uh, who did it? I, I don't know if somebody was trying to figure out. Like, there could be somebody that wasn't sure who did it, but they knew somebody did it. I feel like, I don't know if, if they're going to watch this. I, 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 Julia did it. You turn me on more than a free pepperoni pizza. Hmm. This person, this person also feels like the type of person that will tell you that they're in love with you and they will love bomb the shit out of you, but it's for ulterior motive. Straight talk, yeah, that's straight talk. <laughs> Tell me more about this this situation. I don't know if Julia is a preacher. 
or there's a preacher involved. Your YouTube channel saved lives and is saving others. Okay. Well, somebody got a channel here. Steal. Preacher and steal. Is there a, maybe she did this for a preacher to steal something of someone else's, though. Hold on a second. Was she trying to steal from the preacher? No, she did this dirty work for a preacher. Clear that spirit. Is Julia a preacher? No. Clear that for me and ground. Julia did this to try to steal something of someone who has a YouTube channel. Okay. Some kind of judgment. This could have been like some kind of money that was supposed to come to another person. That, a, a, I don't know, a preacher was trying to take? All right. Tell me who the who it is. Tell me, like, uh, Forge, who signature. For what? Tell me more about this, please. I don't know, but something's coming full circle. The, um, there could have been a Pisces with somebody that's under judgment because they were trying to steal something, and somebody named Julia could have been, like, real good at forging signatures or something, amendment. Some, it was some some kind of paperwork that somebody was getting. This could be for a home. This could be for money. Amendment, though. I mean, let, what what's the actual... Um, I mean, I know what that means generally, but let me see something. I'm in deep right now. Are you the judge? So there, this could be a preacher, a judge, and somebody else was involved. Alteration, change, modification, change something. She wanted to change something that may, maybe, let's say, let's say hypothetically that there was some money left to somebody. She could have possibly wanted to say or like, no, I want it to go to this person instead. It sounds like somebody's changing um, the power of attorney. Clear that for me, spirit. Is this like power of attorney or... Clear that from the spirit. Was this somebody that was supposed to get some kind of money, like a will money or something like that? Yeah? Clear that from me, spirit. And did she change it so that somebody else would get it? A preacher? Do you even know this person, this preacher? Like, I'm, I'm confused because I, I, I feel like these... Murder. <laughs> so this person, Julia... Is ha, has a murder under her belt. Tell me about this murder, please. Yeah, I feel like they lied, or they could have lied and said that you murdered somebody. Oh, a promotion. Uh, oh, this this chip, murder and promotion. You murder this person, you get a promotion. She does like. Is this someone that works in a, in a church or something? A preacher? Clear that from me, spirit. Does this girl Julia work like in a church or something like that? This is this is some more shit in the name of you guys. Jesus, look, talking about Jesus, he just said, yeah, this is somebody who was a person of God. I'm telling you, man, you got more sinister people connected to that dude than than anybody I know, man. Clear that, clear that for me, spirit. It, it, now, it makes sense how I feel about him, that this is, though, because my perception of that person is not good, all right? And because based off of facts and logic and just what I see going on in the world. Um, so it would make sense to me that murder would be connected to it again, because this ain't the first or the 10th or the 20th time I've exposed this kind of shit. Clear that from me, Spirit. Did she say that another person uh, murdered somebody? So she tried telling people that another person murdered somebody and really it's her. She said this is like she tried to sacrifice somebody and she's under judgment for this. Cuz you're a nasty bitch apparently, Julia. You nasty 911. I I guess the police know somebody was trying to sabotage you or they did something too quick and didn't think about it. This was two people that were trying to hold on to money or keep this under wraps as well. This is holding on to something. This could be another situation where somebody was holding on to a relationship. Somebody, I don't know, it's just, I got to keep asking because, you know, I like to get real specific because of, um, you know, why I really do all this. Clear that from the spirit. Is she like dating this preacher? Somebody's dating a preacher. She's holding on to a toxic relationship. So she'll do anything for him. Somebody may have thought that they were the main person and they could be finding out now this person was betrayed. This, ah, oh, that's her karma. 
<laughs> Someone's karma is the fact that they did a lot of dirty work for a preacher, and now this preacher could be getting exposed for doing shit, for having being connected from to murders, and he could be talking, or something's gonna come out about this chick where it's like you weren't the main squeeze. You know, this person could have also cheated on this person. So it's like I murdered for you. I forged signatures for you. I have tried to ruin. I I've created smear campaigns on people for you, and you did this to me. Somebody's trying to hold on to somebody that they know was no good. This is another situation, another message of like, you know, you keep trying to hold on to these relationships and marriages where you know that they're no good. Uh, you wind up being the one that gets burnt. Especially when you're trying to attack someone else that you don't even know, but you're holding on to somebody who has repeatedly betrayed you and broken your heart. Somebody's real good with their words too, man. I guess it's this preacher. Um, tell me more about this, please. Look, damsel in distress in reverse. So this one's very codependent. Whoever Julia is, darling, uh, you you need someone to take care of you because I feel like you cannot function in society on your own. Uh, you're very codependent on a man or men, and this is why you hold on to them like this. So you wind up doing, it gets to the point where somebody can't, uh, provide for themselves so they have no choice but to do dirty work for the toxic dudes that they wind up being in relationships with yep but somebody getting taught a lesson huh that's my ancestors too with the tree yeah somebody's learning something arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge desperately trying to ruin someone's reputation why i don't understand why Tell me why she did this, man. Why do you want to ruin someone's reputation so bad? Why do so many people want to ruin someone's reputation that they don't even know? Why? What the hell is wrong with you people? You're, you're sick. 12 minutes. You're sick. Tell me why. Why, why. why did she want to do this, man? To get justice, huh? Huh? Libra energy. She could have been pissed off. Libra, Taurus, or, or heavy Libra, but... This could be, uh, I don't know if this is a judge with the justice. With... Clear that for me, spirit. Is this, clear that. Is this person, Julia, a, a judge? No. Clear that for me, spirit. But does she work in like something like that where the uh, office, judge's office, government office, something like that? I guess someone's being exposed for forging signatures for officials. Right? Clear that for me, Spirit. Is this just for multiple, like, judges or preachers or all these toxic people that were taking will money left to people and homes left to people and people didn't even realize it? Like, here, oh, okay. This chick is connected to these groups of people that kill people to take stuff that's left in the will. Clear that for me, Spirit. Did the police know about this person, Julia? No. Well, let's get a last name. I'll be right back. I don't know if Julia watches my channel, but if you do, you're screwed, bitch. I'll be right back. Julia A A Ban A B A N. She could be connected to trying to take some will money. She could have known some family members or something like this. All right, so that is her last name. She needs to be investigated. Somebody's being forced to walk away now from this. Because I think that maybe this could be the reason why. Maybe because I'm exposing this. Tell me, tell me more about this situation. Losing. And you're going to keep losing. I don't know. This, this person um, could have known your mom because I'm looking at this. This, could, this person could have been connected to your mother or an aunt or something like that or some family members that were trying to take some money. A deadbeat mother, okay, Julia Avon. So she tried to say that you were a deadbeat mom. Somebody really, I don't know if this person turned, if this person knows people in your community or something. Because usually it's like tried to ruin your reputation. Like who cares? Like we're not in school anymore. But this could have been a reason why people in your neighborhood were looking at you sideways or something. That somebody said that you you had killed somebody and that you were a deadbeat mom and here she is forging signatures and, and doing real dirty shit for some people. Good job, Julia. Hold on a second, because I, I don't I mean I'm guessing that if it's coming out here, her or somebody she knows watches this or they wouldn't be putting this message or this is something that detectives 
uh, need to know about this person is that she is going to wind up getting locked up for forging signatures. For it, This could be for like judges. This could be for preachers. Uh, this could be for governors and stuff like that. What's up with Engine? Walk now. She has to walk now. So her karma is now clear that she has to walk or something like that because her, her, something happened with her vehicle. Yeah, she's getting karma and shit like that. Can you clear that for me, Spirit? Can you clear that for me, Spirit? Yeah, this is somebody that needed to get a little bit of an ass whooping because they messed with the wrong person. Julia, I feel like you would have never seen this coming, you little forger. Yeah, it's game over for you, Julia, and everybody that's connected to you. Julia, I'm just picking up on her energy. She could just be real petty. Um, and, and she's probably the type of person where she's going to wind up if she's showing up here getting interrogated. And I can see her throwing all kinds of people under the bus. Julia, what you doing, girl? Look, what's this? The way you present yourself is the way you'll be seen. So there's people that could be, um, I, I don't know how she presents herself, but I feel like somebody's speaking for itself. If, if she told people that you killed somebody or that you were a deadbeat mother or something like that, there's something where you have a YouTube channel, people are seeing that like you just don't seem like it, or maybe you admitted it, you know? It's like I admitted it that I wasn't the best mom, so you could have just shut this one up. There's something here where something's coming out naturally, like I don't know, because I'm looking at you and I'm looking at this one and it looks like either you're jealous or you're nasty or something like that. What's this? Yeah, the goat. <laughs> Somebody tried to ruin a reputation of a goat. You dig? Do you see what I'm saying? And so I guess it's bothering somebody, man, because people could be seeing you is in jail. So this person could have been locked up. Now, this could be spiritual jail. Hunter. Now, that could be actually someone's literally named Hunter, or she thought that she was a hunter at one point. Now she's getting hunted. She could have connected herself like she... It's like she chose to be someone who hunts after somebody. Like, you wouldn't stop. You wouldn't shut up. You wouldn't sit down. You didn't know your place. And now karma's here for you, bitch. Clear that for me, spirit. Is this literally someone's name, Hunter? No. Clear that. You're a bully. She's a bully. She hunt. It's like hunting people for no reason. Wanting to ruin people's lives for no reason. This is what we got to say to you, Julia. Ha ha. It looks like somebody else gets the last laugh. This person could have been arrested. And maybe the cops don't know that she actually forged your name clear that from me spirit is julia arrested okay so maybe clear that do they know she forged someone's name to try to take somebody's will money she, she forged she forged the, a goat name on something i hope you put g-o-a-t on that bitch julia so accurate so this is a very accurate message and it's going to be for specific homeless somebody it was somebody's home well they're in jail so they got a home now okay don't feel so bad damn it but she was trying to make somebody else homeless who is this person do you even know this person somebody really went out of their way to try to destroy somebody i don't even know if this bitch knows you man 1818 like this sounds like somebody needs to be in a padded cell i hope it's a padded cell like like writing on the walls and shit like some count of money crystal precise very precise okay she was trying damn man i don't even know like is there a reason why this person but you know what the crazy thing is rapes men all right i don't know if julia does you know what i think you guys you want to know what i think you want to know what philly thinks i think somebody had a lot of sturdy secrets you guys and she was literally trying to ruin someone else's reputation maybe your youtube channel is is exposing people or you talk about things and you could have been talking about her but nobody knew you know and so she was trying to ruin your reputation because she probably knew eventually that it was going to come out of everything that this girl did 1919 hear that from me spirit has julia raped men like she sat sit on top of them while they're passed out a woman yo you a piece of trash lady Somebody's in jail, but I feel like this is going to keep them in there longer. Why was she locked up? Blessing? That you're an actual blessing? People are actually seeing that you're a blessing and that this chick... Yeah. Uh, okay, damn it. Um, 
Tell me what she did. Why is she in, in why is she locked up? Moving away. Because she didn't want to move away. Possibly she didn't want to move away from a relationship she was in with a karmic masculine. He probably got caught up too. They could have both. I don't know. They, they could have literally both got locked up and shit like that. Somebody wanted to connect themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She could have possibly um, did some spell work on your child in the past. Yeah, that's not good. I feel like you were already moving away from something like hor horrible and you just wanted a peaceful life and you like you you just like put boundaries up like I I've started realizing about the boundary game and, and you were getting over a lot of stuff from your past like a lot of heavy gaslighting a lot of you you, you could have even been like minding your business like getting hit with spell work nonstop and somebody still didn't know how to like when is enough is enough like there's some real like hurt nasty people on this planet you guys and i'm gonna say it often anybody who is that evil that you are a detriment to others and children and you don't have the ability to change i wish death on you okay i do and i'm willing to take karma if that's the case because i'm not going nowhere i know how valuable i am i think that the reason that there's so many people walking and free and, and don't seem to have any kind of judgment on them is because of how many people think that it's it's okay to say, like, I just want the best for them. Bless your enemies. That is toxic. That is just about as toxic as that doctrine. It is the most toxic part besides the, the one behind it. Clear that for me, Spirit. Are we supposed to wish a well for our enemies? Or you see how, the, how bad this got? Don't believe everything somebody's telling you. What feels good with you? Does that even feel good to say, like, you send some kind of gift to your enemies, that's an energy transfer. You're giving them that good energy. I know everybody wants to try and act like they're the bigger person, but it is really an act. Most people don't really, most people don't understand that you are fooling yourself when you say that shit. Because as a human being, authentic humans, the way that we are wired, we want to see our enemies fucking fail. But you're afraid to say that. Why? You feel it. And if you guys say that you don't, you're lying to yourself. Sing. You could sing too when she's pissed off about that. Clear that, clear that for me, spirit. Clear that. Are there too many people like wishing well for their enemies, thinking that that's going to bring them good stuff? Yeah. Can you clear that? Right? No energy manipulation. Clear that. Um, does, does the universe believe them? Yeah. The, this is what I told you guys. I'm going to tell you again. Authenticity brings in. Uh, all kinds of knowledge the universe will open you up to all kinds of like um ancestral knowledge and wisdom and 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 just gifts from the universe because of you being authentic being authentic doesn't always mean being um nice okay <laughs> i think people got that confused where um because a lot of times people oh bless their little heart like you know that's a big running joke right it's the same shit I wish the best for my enemies. Do you really? Because I feel like if you even asked yourself on your own pendulum, your pendulum's going to tell you the truth, motherfucker. More importantly, look, my phone just lit up. More importantly, the universe knows that you're not being truthful. Be authentic and show your dark side or you're a fraud at that point. Anybody wishing well for their enemies and stuff like that, but especially if you have a channel and you talk about all the shit that they do and then you say, oh, I wish them that way. Okay, well, that's good. Because those of us who are so authentic that it bothers other people, we don't believe you. <laughs> we think you're a lying sack of shit. Um, all right, so, so uh, Julia has drugged men and raped them before universe was not playing when it said stop messing with this person julia and whoever she's connected to somebody did spell work on you in the past and they came back and they're locked up for it this person could also be homeless like if they did get out judas this was one of your judases from a past life you came back here to settle some shit with this broad divine feminine divine masculine whoever this is for <clears throat> and i feel like somebody don't even know how bad it's about to get she called him on that. So you could have like said, I guess this is like a lot of you say, but a lot of people don't believe it. There's something different about me. I am karma. When you do things to me because I'm a good person, you will get repercussions for that. I wonder how many people actually laughed about that. 
Because I understand not many people have the confidence to say that. <clears throat> so when people hear it, it's like they, you know, who do they think they are? It's not what we think. It's what we know. When you get to that point where you know yourself that well, you know how badass you are, you know the bloodline, you, you, your confidence is going to agitate people. What is this? All right, I see share. So you don't share very well, Julia, or whoever this is for, for you guys. You know, I'm sure this is probably going to resonate. I mean, there's a lot of people. I don't know how many people rate men these days, but there's a lot of people who came for the GOAT, and it's game over for them. So um, you guys are proving a lot of people wrong that tried to smear your reputation because of the way you carry yourself, the way you treat other people. I'll never understand why somebody thought it was uh, up to them whether somebody's on the street. Are you kidding me? Especially if you were doing that shit to somebody that has children. Like, you're just you're just disgusting. Uh, what is this? I see tear. Yeah, somebody's crying now. I see rear, too. That's a whole other get down. Some share and rear. <laughs> I'll let you guys figure that one out. His. Share his rear. I think, oh damn, she could be finding out, if this is a preacher, a male preacher that she did this dirty thing for, she could be finding out that he shares his rear. <laughs> I had to laugh at something, man. This shit is getting so dark around here. Oh my God, this shit is getting like overwhelming. I feel like even the detectives are like, you have got to be kidding me that people do this shit. Are you kidding me? You have to be kidding me, right? Let's ask. Who that's weird. Are the detectives, undercovers, and police completely in shock at some of the stuff that they're finding out? This is, like, amazing. I feel like if it wasn't for um, the ability to just be able to laugh at stuff, um, it would be real devastating and real down. You know, it's, it's crucial to laugh, even if you have to laugh at your pain. Laugh at other people's pain, too, damn it, but make sure you're laughing at yours. There's a preliminary hearing. There's a preliminary hearing for something. Or she could be, she's going to be, maybe she thought she was going to be getting out. She, maybe she thought she was going to be moving away from jail. That she was going to, she thought maybe she was going to be able to offer, like, I don't know. Hold on. Somebody thinks that they're going to be getting it when they get out of jail. They're going to be able to kind of make something right. Watch me do my thing. Somebody gonna have to watch you do your thing now. Clear that one, spear. I forget what I was gonna ask, damn it. Oh well. Oh, is there a preliminary hearing for this shit that she's involved in? Oh, I wanted to ask. Clear that. Sorry. Is this is this a male preacher that she was kind of like dating or something like that? Yeah. Okay. Clear that for me, Spirit. Was he just using her? That's what it feels like. It feels like she was like a, oh, I'll get it. Yeah, no problem. I got it. Sure. What do you need me to do? Oh, you need me to kill somebody? Well, okay. And then somebody just left her high and dry, or she could be in jail, and he's not She's he's not answering the phone. Clear that for me, Spirit. Did this, is this dude preacher gay? Yeah, I, I can feel it. It's when I seen Cher, his rear on that bitch, okay? So... Somebody was sharing his ass with a dude, and he was just using this chick to do his dirty work. And now she's locked up, and I don't feel like this dude's answering his phone calls or his text messages. You know how they get down. I keep telling these people, get away from people who are like criminals, okay? Because you will go down with them, and they will turn their, their head like they never even met your ass, unless you got something they need. It's opportunist energy, man. This shit is over, man. That shit was trending for a little while, though, wasn't it? I love you guys, man. If nobody told you guys that, you know, I love you. Even my enemies, like, I do love you because you, you, you know, and I mean that I love, well, I don't love you. What I love is the fact that you remind me how great of a person I am, slur. So this person could just, I don't know, somebody's on drugs, they locked up, slurring. They could be like, I don't know if they just got locked up. Somebody could have just got locked up, man. Silver spoon. This person could have been born with a silver spoon. This is one of your Judases. Somebody could have thought that you were born with a silver spoon. Whatever it is, it feels like jealousy, nastiness, insecurity, and and um, and obviously loving the wrong dude got somebody real caught up. 
Don't know what it is, but it seems she got me twisted. Yeah, she got you, you twisted. I don't know what she thought you were like. Change your password so this person could have also been connected to trying to uh, hack you. Man, baby. I don't know. True Hayoka. Yeah. They came for one of these. Yeah, they did. Let me find out if, if somebody needs to change their password that's watching here. Let me find out if I need to change my password. So did you guys, are you guys keeping up with the shit that I'm learning? If you know you got people around you where they use uh, technology to count your keystrokes and they will send you cash apps and they'll send you PayPal so that when you type in your password, now they, they see your password, please get a pendulum or use a necklace every single time. Clean that shit off, okay? Um, whether it's with uh, sage or water. And if you know that you have somebody around you that's counting keystrokes and you have to log into an account to record or upload or something like that, move at least 30 feet away from somebody. Get enough distance. Ask your pendulum if you have to, if you're far away enough. I had a dingbat next door that had a jammer. I think he's got one on each side, but I don't know. But he, um, And it was like my, my shit wouldn't even begin to upload. So I was like, what do you think? I ain't got feet, motherfucker? So I just went across the parking lot. And it uploaded in five minutes. Like, you're never going to stop me. I don't know why you guys even try. Who are you? I don't even, I mean, no one has been able to answer. Well, no one really talks to me here. I feel like there's a lot of people who are embarrassed. Some people still don't like me. I'm cool with that. Others feel some kind of way because they didn't realize what kind of person I was. I'm cool with that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I forgave. I'm, I'm not, I don't hold grudges and shit like that. Like, I, 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 and I'm ultimately the kind of person where I would love to get along with everybody around me because I'm just that kind of person. And I just think a lot of people don't, they never really had somebody like me in their life, so they didn't really know what to do with it. And it's a mix of that, people just believing other people before they, they get to know someone for themselves. And I guess we all do that, you know? So it's like for the ones who actually like like me now, like I, I'm not, I'm not, man, I don't hold grudges and shit like that, right? For some of them, it was like my ancestors uh, were real crafty and how I wind up saving people's lives and stuff like that or warning them not to do something or warning them about somebody. And it's like I gained allies just out of being authentic though. It's not from manipulation. I don't ever have to be manipulative or of create any kind of illusion, if that's what you want to call it, to gain allies because I'm just that who I say I am. So uh, anyway, I don't know. I've been wanting to say that for a while. Like when I, when I go somewhere or I live somewhere, my ultimate thing is like I would rather just get along and like if I need something from you, 32, 32, you, yeah, help me. And, and then if you need something from me, like, that's just the way it's supposed to be. I don't know when all this other shit started or what started this. Or a lot of the times if you become, like, a target in your community, it's because one motherfucker started all kinds of lies to get the whole community to turn against you. And usually they're the one that did most of the shit that they, they, they talked about on you, you know. It's just a lesson for everybody, like... Don't, don't let somebody tell you something about somebody without you checking the car facts first, right? All right. Clear that from the spirit. Do I need to change my password? No. Somebody does, though. Clear that. Is somebody listening? They need to change their password. Uh, you could be around a man, baby. Let's find out. Um, let's get some initials. If, if you guys want to put names up there for somebody who needs to change their password, um, feel free. I'm going to flip out letters for you guys. But yeah, if they count, if they're counting your keystrokes, ask your pendulums. Even you dudes should have one. Everybody should have one, man. I'm telling you, this thing has saved my life. Let's get some letters. I feel like even the detectives, some of the detectives and stuff, use them. Um, all right, let's see. Give me some uh, letters for first names, please, for somebody that's watching that needs to change their password. Be yourself, be, see yourself being with him. So there could be somebody around a woman right now where you're dating somebody or you're, you're with a, because man boy came out there. So there could be somebody who's with like a big kid. Mm. You know, that, that person could be trying to, I feel like there's a lot of people who are around people in, a, in groups and, and they're with people who are also trying to steal from them. Like, let's just say like the perceived target in the community and learns how to protect their devices and stuff like that. And now people who were trying to hack you can't hack you, but they need to hack somebody because they don't have shit. They're going to hack anybody. You know, there's no loyalty with these people. I mean, if you do any kind of theft at all, if you know that anybody, somebody hacks, get away from them. Don't even be friends with that motherfucker, okay? 
Because uh, I had a situation where I was hanging with a, a Jacob. <laughs> they always go in on you, Jacob. Um, uh, what was it? I had a friend group and somebody used another person's laptop and it was to uh, print out phony prescriptions. And somebody didn't know. And somebody went to jail for it. So, as I'm just saying, you never know. Just don't hang around anybody if you're a good person or you want to be a better person. Jacob and print. So either Jacob needs to change the password or he's the one that you need to clear that from me, spirit. Is Jacob the one who's the, the piece of shit in the city? Yeah, whoever's around Jacob. Clear that from me, spirit. Are there people currently around someone named Jacob print and hurry? Somebody's trying to print something in a hurry? Clear that from me, spirit. Is this like prescriptions or... Clear that from me, spirit. Is this, is this like printing something out? Clear that from me, spirit. Is this through Jacob connected to this girl, Julia, by any chance? No? All right. Murder. Why is that coming up again? You know I'm not going to end this until I figure this out, right? Clear that from me, spirit. Is Jacob... Did Jacob kill somebody? Yeah? Clear that from me, spirit. Was just this just recently? No. Uh, first, let's go. I don't even know what to do first. All right, can you give me some names then if you guys want. I'm going to flip some letters out of people who need to change their password. Who, who needs to change their password? Just give me like three just to make it simple. Uh, first initials of, of whoever needs to change their password because you could be around this person. Yeah, if you're around this person, this person's going to wind up getting exposed for murder, so just stay away. F or M. Just stay away from this person. I or M. Heavy M. Yeah. He's, he's not a good person. Or he changed a lot if he was. F. F R. It could be Frank. At, there's two F's, there's two M's. It could be Frank, Matt, Mark, Michael, Fred, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, uh, change your password. Because I feel like if you hang with this person, Jacob, and my phone just lit up, he either hacked you. This could be password on your phone. Don't, uh, yo, I don't, listen, somebody could be trying to frame somebody for murder, too. They, I think, um, I don't know if this is Google Pass. This could be your phone password. Clear that for me, Spirit. Is this Google passwords? Huh? Clear that. Is this phone passwords? If you left your phone around this motherfucker, man, change your phone password. This person may be getting in your phone and sending, like, phony messages about something to try to get somebody caught the fuck up for something that he did. I feel like there's some people where you really have to take the advice that's given to you to stop hanging with people. A lot of people need to spend time by themselves if you want to, like, live for, for some for some of them like live or be free did jacob go in this court as frank it did, isn't, didn't i expose that a little while ago that jacob showed up to court as frank hear that from me spirit is this that jacob yeah hear that from me spirit does frank still hang with this person no okay good hear that from me spirit but did how, somehow he get into someone's phone yeah um even if you're not around this person, this person is still around. Like, if you can still smell their stench of death and disgust, ask your pendulum. If you have a chain around your neck that has something on it, use it. You know what I mean? I'll tell you how to do it. You know, you rinse it under water. And then you figure out what your yes and no is. You know what I mean? Like, you put something um, under it, and you know, and then you'll figure out what yes is, and you'll just say, clear that, right? Uh, is this red? And then if it goes forward, that's your yes. And then left and right is going to be no. That's what it is for me, though. But start using something. I don't care if you got to get a fucking shoelace and hang something off of it. Okay, <laughs> Just get something. Somebody's acting real calm right now. But no, um, they know they're about to get exposed for murder here. Hold on. I may need to find. I may need to, to pause this and get somebody's name. Clear that for you, Spirit. Clear that. Is it, is it one murder? Oh, no. Clear that for me, Spirit. Is it two? There's two people? Okay, clear that. Do the police know? Well, they're going to know, motherfucker. Uh, I'll be right back. I, I'm going to do. I'm gonna get the names of the two people that, that Jacob killed after the reading so I can just keep going. All right. Um, 
Oh, what was it? F I F. I want to see what that is under Urban Dictionary. Everybody needs to stay away from Jacob and and whoever he's around. I don't know if this person was always like this, but plead the Fifth Amendment. Oh, with a men. Somebody's going to try and plead the Fifth. FIS2 is a, to show your anger, annoyance, or disturbance from someone's actions or behavior. There could be people around this person that are like just annoyed with the way that he's acting. But if this means to plead the fifth, right? The fifth. That's so funny. Clear that spirit. Is this pleading uh, the fifth? Uh, that what he's, okay, clear that. Is that what he's going to try and do? So if somebody asks him like, yo, did you murder somebody? Because I'm this type of person while well, I ask you, okay? I'm very vocal. I'm pretty sure people around here especially can see that. Um, and it works, it, it works against me sometimes, but I'm, I'm okay with that, you know. I don't try to be perfect, but, um, somebody gonna plead the fifth, okay? That shit ain't gonna work, so what we're gonna do now, so that you can't plead the fifth, is we're gonna get names of who the fuck you killed, Jacob, alright? But let's just get down with something else, right? And if they wanna keep talking about this, let's see. I feel like Jacob came for me like once or maybe you were told to sit the fuck down, Jacob, and because you wouldn't, um, oh, someone's going to turn on somebody. No! So I don't know what, plead the fifth, somebody could have said that they were going to testify and now, and now they're going to turn. Clear that for me, spirit. Was this person supposed to help someone out and testify, Jacob? And clear that spirit. And now what are they going to do? They're going to surprise people and plead the fifth. What a piece of fucking trash. I hope somebody gets their shins broken. Somebody needs to put their hands. Uh, hurry. Okay. Do they want me to just explode? I mean, this, is this going to be like within the next couple of days? Hold on a second. Clear that for me, spirit. Is this supposed to happen today? Clear that for me, spirit. Clear that. Do you want me to just end this? All right. I'm going to end this. I don't know. Whatever this is. He's going to turn on somebody in court that he said that he would actually go and testify because he's a pussy. But he, don't worry, if you watch my channel, I got you because he murdered two people. So he's going away anyway. We're not going nowhere. Love you, Philly up.